that was great but I guess I'll leave it in um, yesterday I was talking about how to sound good and that's a big um, like I mentioned subject to get into so I thought I would kind of elaborate a little more um, you know there's different I guess subcategories or categories within that that are um, good to talk about so one of them is this idea of um, you know we all know about this in music, the emotional connection. And yesterday's video, I was noticing that I was pretty dry in the way I was playing and pretty um, unemotional and not really connected to what I was playing. Um, and um, sometimes we have to remind ourselves to connect. And um, I've heard um, from Wayne Krantz that his friend and the great guitar player Michael Landau calls it juice. The idea of um, just juicing up what you're playing. Um, so there's probably, you know, useful ways to kind of think about that um, beyond just your emotional connection. So you can kind of maybe think about it in terms of just the articulation. Like how do you articulate the notes? Are you uh, digging in? Are you creating dynamics? Are you... Um, slurring the notes, are you, um, you know, hammer-ons, pull-off slides, are you doing a combination of picking with the left-hand stuff, the vibratos, the bends, and, um, you know, that's, that's a huge part, the, the sort of juicing up what you're playing is, a, is however you do that, whether that's like really obvious or, or just in terms of just how, you, how you're feeling what you're playing, uh, because there's some people like for instance, um, Bill Frizzell comes to mind. That isn't really maybe obvious in terms of how he's connecting with the music. It's more kind of just in there um, on an emotional level that you can just kind of feel. Because he's not sweating. Like if you compare Bill Frizzell to Stevie Ray Vaughan, I mean, pretty drastic um, in terms of how they're kind of displaying their connection to what they're playing. I mean, you know, Steve Ray Vaughan is sweating and just uh, all in physically, and whereas Bill Frizzell is more kind of, uh, I guess, languid and relaxed when he's playing, but he's definitely emotionally connected. So there's kind of different ways to connect to, to what you're playing, and um, just in terms of highlighting the idea of juicing up what you're playing. It's maybe like an easier way to kind of talk about it because it's kind of like something you can just immediately do. Um, whereas the emotional connection thing, I think it's kind of a deeper thing um, in terms of just like how you're feeling what you're playing. And sometimes that just comes from, as we know, just experience playing music, experience um, in life, and um, and also uh, something that, um, again, Wayne Krantz has uh, hipped me to, is um, watching YouTube videos of people connect. And um, I was kind of doing it in the beginning of the video, but not that great. You know, sometimes it's not easy to turn on the camera and then immediately launch into, um, you know, connecting on a deep level. But just wanted to kind of demonstrate some, some of that anyways, uh, hopefully some of it came across. But anyways, um, this idea of juicing up what you're playing. I mean, so I was in B minor, I guess. Um, and uh, so, you know, yesterday, again, I was playing pretty dry. Um, 
and so maybe yesterday was a good example of how not to play um, in terms of how I was playing the notes. The, the content in terms of just, you know, creating theme and variation and motivic development, that's all very, very useful and I stand by that. But I could have definitely been more, um, I could have juiced it up a lot more. Um, and like I said, that's something that you maybe have to remind yourself to do uh, to, to maybe where it gets to the point where it's, where it's a habit. Um, but yeah, so, um, like something like that, like instead of, which is kind of how I was playing yesterday, more like, you know, just kind of, I slid into, I dug in a little bit more, a little more vibrato, uh, these kind of things to juice it up, um, can be just a, yeah, a helpful way to kind of activate what you're playing so that it's more, um, expressive, basically. Um, yeah, so, um, I guess we could just kind of talk about it like that, like how you're digging in. Like, let me play actually without, um, any, any, um, like vibrato or slides or anything. Uh, a little bend. So I'm just kind of, I can't help but do a little vibrato or something. Um, but, um, yeah, so just, I mean, just like how you're digging in can be, um, one aspect of uh, the juice in it up. The other is the the slides and the bends and the vibratos and and all that kind of stuff. You know all those kind of uh, juicy uh, ways to play notes. And um, yeah, I guess I'll leave it at that for now. Um, and the. Again, the, the whole sounding good thing. Um, I mean, I would say your emotional connection to what you're playing is probably the, um, maybe the most important aspect of making it sound good. Because that's the thing that people will feel, right? Um, how you're connecting with however many notes you're playing, one or ten, um, that, that is the thing that, that people will respond to the most. And uh, especially people that aren't, you know, musically, um, you know, educated. Um, they're more just passive listeners. Um, and for passive kind of regular listeners, that's a, you know, I think we all know this. That's a huge part of what makes them like what they're listening to is the fact that they can feel it. So as guitar players that play, um, you know, especially instrumental music and especially improvised, uh, improvised um, instrumental music, um, that's, I think, a pretty important part of um, what we should consider when we're playing and when we're practicing. And um, yeah, all right, I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, thanks, everyone.